हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू बाइजूज एग्जाम प्रेप मोस्ट कॉम्प्रेंसिव है फॉर ऑल एग्जाम्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इन्फॉर्म मी दैट साउंड क्वालिटी पिक्चर क्वालिटी एवरीथिंग इज फाइन यस प्लीज एवरीवन साउंड क्वालिटी पिक्चर क्वालिटी एवरीथिंग इज फाइन नाउ दिस इज वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट सेशन फॉर बार्क एंड एच ए एल दैट इज द नेटवर्क थियरी पार्ट वन राइट एंड वी विल डिस्कस सम इम्पॉर्टेंट न्यूमेरिकल्स right and we have two parts that is the network part 1 and network part 2 right so please inform me that sound quality picture quality everything is fine yes vishnu ajay kumar billa ketku uh, ketki and shiva how are you then right some important numericals right concept with numericals right for bar exam as well as what hal exam and circuit theory as you know this uh, this subject is going to play a crucial role in your selection definitely vipul kumar khushbu kundan so uh, first of all simply press like button so that mark your attendance okay and then share the link of this session or uh, finally subscribe the channel so chaliye dekhte hain zara kya kya important topics hai kon kon se important questions hai each and everything we will discuss here bark and hal 2022 network theory okay ओके तो क्या रेडी है एक बार हाउस द जोस आप लोग सब तैयार हैं बहुत सारे क्वेश्चन हैं ये सेशन स्टार्ट हुआ है फ्रॉम सर्किट थ्योरी राइट एक शानदार सेशन वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड ऑन व्हाट बार्क एंड एच व्हाट शुड बी द स्ट्रेटजी बाय आशुतोष सक्सेना सर प्लीज वॉच दैट सेशन ओके तो दैट इज माई इंट्रोडक्शन माई सेल्फ संजय राठी 20 plus years of teaching experience in the field of competitive exams like EAC gate and PSU and i have qualified and selected for engineering services exam these are my ranks AIR 16 in EAC 2005 and AIR 21 in EAC 2008 right so use my experience which type of questions they may ask and then i have mentored more than 1 lakh students for these competitive exams these are my area now network theory i am dealing with what network theory okay ready yes now so this is the session already it is taken by what uh, asutosh sir prepare bark and hal 2022 in byju's style uh, please watch it uh, watch that session and so that you will get the idea what should be the strategy what should be the study plan because we have limited time okay right so yaar first question uh, that is for warm up yes warm up simple very very simple question but in bar exam you may get this type of questions very very simple the norton's equivalent circuit of the given circuit in figure at terminal a and b it is visible to you everyone a here b here 8 ohm 4 ohm 12 8 and 2 ampere then please what should be the value of norton's equivalent so which answer is correct uh, option a option b option c or option what d norton's equivalent of the circuit in figure at terminal ab right to so watch this question this is the 8 ohm 5 ohm 8 ohm this is the 4 ohm resistor this is the 12 volt battery and this is the 2 ampere current source now right uh use your copy pen calculator right work mein calculator hai but in hal it is not allowed okay so number of students giving the answer that is what c that is 1 ampere and 4 ohm let's other students please give the answer what is the answer for this question yes everyone what is the answer for this question just for your warm up that is the first question that is the simply first question okay are ek bar zara yaar please share the link of this session so that student will join the session okay yes please share in your group now very very simple question yes c is the correct one now how we can solve this question very simple right first of all remember that watch the answer when we are watching the answer that is the 2 ohm 6 ohm 4 ohm 6 ohm this is the norton's resistance first of all find the norton's resistance when we are going to find the norton's resistance this current source will act as open circuit voltage source will act as short circuit and that is the circuit 4 ohm 8 ohm this is the 8 ohm and now this is the 5 ohm here we have to find the norton's resistance that is called rn this is called r equivalent across what a and b a and b 
now this is the 4 8 and this is 8 and this is 5 so what is the norton's resistance 8 plus 4 12 plus 8 20 parallel with what 5 that is nothing but 4 ohm that is nothing but 4 ohm which answer is correct only one answer have the 4 ohm then that is the correct one no need to calculate what no need to calculate norton's current right that is question is over but if you want how how we can solve this question then very simple we can calculate the norton's current also but in exam hall no need to calculate that is the method how we can solve mcq more number of mcq in limited time right if we are having the two options first of all get we are having the different values because here we are having one ampere one ampere one ampere and 1.5 ampere then calculate the value that is the different one no need to calculate the norton's current now calculate the norton's current simply short circuit this is the short circuit remember that is the isc right same current will flow from this point that is the point why because this will act as short circuit there will be a no current uh, number of ways to solve this question you can use the nodal analysis like this voltage is vx you can find always remember if this current source is connected that battery is connected normally we are taking it as a reference that is the zero but it is not the zero now apply the kcl incoming current is 2 ampere what is the outgoing current vx minus 12 divided by 4 this is called nodal analysis plus vx divided by now watch this this is the zero this is the zero to 8 plus 8 that is the 16 16 as a lcm 32 this will become 4 vx minus 48 plus vx now this is the 5 vx and that will become 80 5 vx is equal to 80 so what is the vx is equal to 80 by 5 that is nothing but 16 volt now if you want isc what is the current through this zero so that is the isc that is the isc up to this point then isc will become isc will become vx divided by 16 that is 1 ampere 1 ampere over that is the first question okay so second question second one second second question let try to solve that second question right answer is the c now uh what is the any by any means by any means just i am giving you the hint but you can find the value of i naught what is the value of i naught in this question simply give me the answer what is the value of i naught in this question option a 6 ampere option b 3 ampere option c 9 ampere option d 12 ampere yes so what will be the answer for this question okay tell me now here it is a 5 here it is a 3 here it is a 4 ohm 2 ohm 7 6 ohm now i uh, we have to find the value of the i naught right you have to find the value of i naught how it is possible to calculate the i naught now simply watch this question here take a screenshot and use your rough copy pen and calculator and give me the answer what is the value of i naught in comments box okay uh this type of questions don't waste your time okay simply use some shortcut and you can get the answer for this uh, uh, this type of questions no need to find the r equivalent and uh, when when we are using the traditional method we are using the uh, we are finding the r equivalent and then we are using what current division rule to find the value of i naught simply watch this question if suppose i am assuming suppose i am assuming let i naught is equal to one ampere current source let let that is the i naught is equal to one ampere current source so if it is one ampere current source that this is the one ampere what will be the voltage at this point the 3 into uh, this is the 3 plus 5 8 that will become 8 volt 1 multiplied with 8 that is the 8 volt 8 divided by 4 what will be the current here 8 divided by 4 this current is what 2 ampere 
this current will become 2 ampere 2 plus 1 what is the current here this current will become 3 ampere i2 and what is the drop here 3 into 2 that is the 6 6 volt 6 plus 8 that is the 14 volt the v2 the voltage at this point is what 14 volt voltage at this point is 14 volt 6 plus 8 14 divided by 7 so what is the value of the i3 i3 will become 2 ampere 2 plus this is the 3 ampere so 2 plus 3 that is what 5 ampere this is the 5 ampere now when we are having the register with the current source simply remove the this this is not this will not affect the circuit what is the current enter here pi, 5 ampere now when the current at this point is 5 ampere what is the output current 1 ampere when the current is 15 ampere then what should be the current at the output 1 divided by 5 that is into 15 and what is the answer 3 ampere so we can solve this question yes ah uh, yes 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 so naido and asutos your answer is correct that is what uh, already have given the answer 6 3 9 and 12 that b is the correct one b is the correct one that is called what we are simply using the concept of what linearity that is we are finding the homogeneity and linear uh, scaling ka hum log ne use kiya. we are using the concept of what is scaling so 3 ampere so in this uh, in this type of lengthy question simply assume that let i naught is equal to what 1 ampere and you can solve this type of question okay next one now what will be the answer for this question Thevenin's equivalent of the circuit in the figure at terminal AB. Thevenin's equivalent. Watch again, watch the answer. 20 volt, 16, 16, 20, 2.5, 6, 2.5, 6. Now, in bark exam, they may ask, uh, this is called Norton's. No, 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 that is not the Norton's theorem. That is what simple we are using the linear concept of linearity, Chinmay. We are using the concept of linearity. That is a linear circuit. एक बार जरा यार आप लोग शेयर कर लीजिए लिंक को और अब ये कंटिन्यूअसली चलेगी टुमारो वी हैव सेकंड पार्ट एट 11 पीएम सेम टाइम 11 पीएम नेटवर्क पार्ट टू एंड इन नेटवर्क पार्ट टू आई विल डिस्कस ट्रांसिएंट कंप्लीट ट्रांसिएंट प्लस स्टडी स्टेट एनालिसिस ऑफ साइनोसोइडल सिग्नल साइनोसोइडल सिग्नल वेयर आई विल गिव यू द कांसेप्ट ऑफ व्हाट कॉम्प्लेक्स पावर how to calculate the power, right? Power triangle, resonance, series resonance, parallel resonance, and what complete DC transient. First order and second order system. Okay. Sandeep Kumar. So which which one is the correct one? Now watch this question. The Thevenin's equivalent is required. Then always remember if we are having the voltage source parallel to what 2 ohm register voltage source parallel to 2 ohm register and we want Thevenin's equivalent means VOC here RTH here then simply you can remove this 2 ohm register remove this 2 ohm register second thing voltage at this point is what VX now when I want to calculate the VOC what is the current here 0 then this voltage at this point is what VOC voltage at this point is Vx voltage at this point is Voc write down the KVL from this point to this point it will become Voc is equal to 2Vx plus Vx 2Vx plus Vx that is equal to 3Vx 3Vx now you have to apply what super nodal analysis super nodal analysis why Simply supernodal analysis uh, because we uh, have one voltage source between these two nodes. Sir, any initiative for gate 2023 student and Prathmesh, that is uh, that is also useful for useful for what gate 2023 because uh, we have to start preparation with what basic subject like what network, math, signal and system, control. So yes, try to solve this type of questions, right? Already you have started preparation for what gate 2023. कोई स्पेशल थोड़ी ना करना है क्या आएगा आपको भी नहीं मालूम हो सकता है यही सब आ जाए ओके तो ये है आपको समझ लेना है इस ऑल टॉपिक्स आर वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट राइट नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ़ ऑल रिमूव दिस टू ओम रजिस्टर ऑलवेज व्हेन वी हैव रजिस्टर पैरेलल टू वोल्टेज सोर्स यू कैन रिमूव दिस इज़ अ डिपेंडेंट सोर्स 
वोल्टेज कंट्रोल वोल्टेज सोर्स वॉट इज द करेंट हियर बिकॉज इट इज ओपन सर्किट द करेंट इज जीरो देन एट दिस पॉइंट वीओसी वीओसी विल बिकम थ्री वी एक्स नाउ यू हैव टू अप्लाई सुपर नोडल एनालिसिस देन वी कैन राइट वॉट इज द इनकमिंग करेंट फाइव एम्पियर इज इक्वल टू वी एक्स बाई फोर प्लस वीओसी बाई सिक्स वीओसी बाई सिक्स वॉट इज द वी एक्स वी एक्स इज इक्वल टू वी ओ सी बाई थ्री वी ओ सी बाई थ्री यू कैन पुट हेयर इट विल बिकम वी ओ सी बाई ट्वेल्व प्लस वी ओ सी बाई सिक्स यू कैन टेक ट्वेल्व एज द एलसीएम दिस विल बिकम सिक्सटी वी ओ सी प्लस टू वी ओ सी वॉट इज द वी ओ सी इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी बाई थ्री दैट इज वॉट ट्वेंटी वोल्ट दैट इज नथिंग बट ट्वेंटी वोल्ट तो ये दैट इज द मैथड दैट इज द मैथड फॉर यू सर वाई शिवा रामचंद्र बिकॉज वाई वी आर रिमूविंग राइट सिंपल कॉन्सेप्ट सिंपल आई एम गिविंग यू द कॉन्सेप्ट दैट इफ वी हैव इफ वी हैव अ वोल्टेज सोर्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड एनी वोल्टेज सोर्स दैट इज अ रजिस्टर राइट देन सिंपली at this point the voltage will remain v irrespective of the value of what r and that's why i am simply removing the value of r i am taking it what infinite i am taking it what infinite and now it make it what open circuit finished you can also take it what short circuit but no no but when we are making it short circuit what will be the value of the voltage it will also become zero so that's why i simply remove it the voltage at these two terminal the voltage difference between these two terminal will remain same what is the value uh, it doesn't matter what is the value of 2 ohm resistor that's why i am removing i think now this this concept is clear then that is the 20 volt how to calculate the rth in this case then very very simple case right now try to understand let like you can connect a 1 volt battery here that is the method 1 volt battery always remember when we are using this method you have to remove this voltage source it will act as open circuit that this is the open circuit and let this is the current i voltage at this point will become 1 volt voltage at this point will become 2 vx plus vx that is the 3 vx 3 vx and rth is always what 1 by i 1 by i that is the method connect the 1 volt battery make the all independent active source is zero now you can remove this the 2 ohm resistor please remove again remove it you can remove right now simply simply tell me that current will come here what is the current here 3 vx divided by 6 3 vx divided by 6 that is nothing but vx by 2 the current will pass through this resistor and that resistor and again the same current will here so i minus vx by 2 right what this i that is the distributed vx by 2 so what is the current here i minus vx by 2 and then you can find the vx vx is equal to nothing but i minus vx by 2 into what 4 and that will that is what you can solve it and then 4i minus vx 2vx and this will become 3vx is equal to 4i 3vx is equal to what 4i once you will get the 4i yes 3vx is equal to 4i so we can write we can write i is equal to watch this i is equal to 1 minus 4i divided by 2 this will become 2i 1 minus 4i that is equal to 6i is equal to 1 so what is the 1 by i is equal to 6 ohm there is number of ways to solve this question number of ways to solve this particular question so what is the answer 20 and 6 volt 20 and 6 volt right yes please so dekho first of all remove the 2 ohm resistor second thing this is the voc directly super nodal analysis because it is act as open circuit voc and that is the vx then you can find the value third case uh, when i want to calculate the rth 
we are connecting one volt battery here this is the current first of all remove the all the active independent sources it is a current source that's why it will act as open circuit remove this current source same current remove you can remove this register same what is the current here vx by 2 because it is a 3 vx divided by 6 i minus vx by 2 that is the current from this you can find the value of what vx you can find the value of vx and in this way we can solve the v, uh, once you will get the value of vx so what is the i 1 minus 3 vx divided by 2 that is the method that is the method Another easy method for this, another easy method for this, very simple. You can use this one in exam hall because no, no doubt we are going to get what? One question from Thevenins. Definitely you are going to get one question from what? Thevenins. So, or if you already we have solved VOC, already we have solved VOC, we have the value of VOC, then make it short circuit now you can find the isc also and because rth is nothing but voc upon isc because we have the voc 20 volt then you can find the isc or we can find the isc just i'm giving you the hint because this is the 2vx this is the vx the voltage at this point is what 3vx already now let voltage at this point is what vx okay and what is the isc ISC is nothing but 3 VX by 2. 3 VX by 2. Right? And we have this relation because there is a voltage source. Supernodal analysis. So what is the supernodal analysis? 5 ampere is the incoming current. We are just simply I am applying the supernodal analysis 5 ampere. That is the VX by 4 plus remove this because it is a register simply remove this register okay and then write down vx minus 0 by 6 vx this is not 3 vx 3 vx divided by 6 plus 3 vx divided by what 2 3 vx divided by 2 now this will become 5 is equal to vx by 4 plus vx by 2 plus 3 vx by 2 you can take 4 as lcm that will become 20 is equal to vx plus 2 vx plus 6 vx right and that is vx is equal to 20 by 9 this is the volt 20 by 9 volt now what is the short circuit current 3 vx by 2 so that will become 3 into 20 by 9 3 into 20 by 9 into 2 that will become 10 10 by 3 put here isc that is become 20 divided by 10 by 3 again you are going to get answer what 6 ohm again you are going to get the answer 6 ohm okay sir can we solve by applying the nodal at 4 ohm register we can apply the nodal at yes i am giving the super nodal analysis you can sandeep right so there are diff, uh, I am applying the super nodal analysis because we have one battery between these two nodes. We have one battery between these two nodes. So that is the method. Another method. So in some numericals, if both that is the ISC or oh, sorry, Thevenin's equivalent is required, then we already we have calculated the VOC. Then you can go for what ISC. VOC by ISC will give you the value of what RTH. VOC by ISC will give you the value of RTH. Now, next one, next question. Ajayga, easy, very, very easy. Please watch this question again and again and you will get the idea how, why we are removing the 2 ohm, what are the different methods to solve this type of questions in exam hall. This is a very important question from Thevenin's theorem. Now, maximum power transfer theorem. Maximum power transfer theorem. Okay, please give me the answer. Today we will discuss uh, questions from what basics, net, uh, two port network and what theorems. So what, what is the answer for this question? Yes, please, Sandeep. In the network of figure, the maximum power absorbed by the load. What will be the maximum power absorbed by the load? So 9 watt, 13.44 watt, 27.3 watt, 16.50 watt. Yes. Please give me the answer. 
विदाउट कैलकुलेटर वी कैन सॉल्व विदाउट कैलकुलेटर वी कैन सॉल्व दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन ओके तो मैक्सिमम पावर इज गिवन बाय वॉट वी टी एच स्क्वायर बाई फोर आर टी एच मीन्स इन इन एनी टाइप ऑफ नेटवर्क लाइक दिस इज द नेटवर्क एंड सपोज आई एम हैविंग आर एल हियर आर एल दैट इज द आर एल देन यू हैव टू फाइंड थेवनिस इक्वेलेंट ऑफ दिस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फाइंड दैट थेवनिस इक्वेलेंट हियर and then this is the rl and this is the rth and that is what vth and then maximum power is given by vth square by what 4 rth and what will be the efficiency of the system when we are getting the maximum power yes please give the comment give me the comments what will be the efficiency of the system when we are going for maximum power from that battery what will be the efficiency of the system okay और इसको भी जरा सॉल्व कीजिएगा टेक योर टाइम अब देखिए हियर वी आर हैविंग द ट्वेल्व वोल्ट सिक्स ट्वेल्व थ्री टू एम्पियर टू एम्पियर एंड आर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू फाइंड व्हाट वीओसी एंड आईएससी तो रिमूव दिस आर एल रिमूव दिस आर एल व्हेन आई एम रिमूविंग दिस आर एल यस फिफ्टी इज द एफिशियंसी ऑफ द सिस्टम रितिक बिल्कुल सही साउद अख्तर वेणु कुमार यस फिफ्टी मीन्स When RL is equal to RTH, we are getting the maximum power that is given by VTH square by four RTH. But both the registers are equal. If hundred percent power is given by this system, then fifty percent is wastage across RTH, and now the fifty percent is delivered to RL, and that's why the efficiency of the system is what fifty percent. But we are getting the maximum power across RL, maximum power across RL. और डी ऑप्शन 16.50 पॉइंट फाइव जीरो वॉट प्लीज चेक यूर कैलकुलेशन चिन्ह में इट इज अ वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन नाउ वॉच दिस दैट इज द क्वेश्चन तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल रिमूव दिस आर एल अक्रॉस ए बी तो वी कैन यूज वॉट वोल्टे सोर्स ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन तो ट्वेल्व डिवाइडेड बाई सिक्स वॉच दिस वन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल I am using the source for twelve divided by six. That is the two ampere. This is the six. This is the twelve. Okay, that is the three ohm. This is the current source, and now this is the two ohm, and this is the open circuit A and B. Just remove this. This is the two ampere. Now this is the twelve and six are in parallel. That is nothing but the four ohm. This is the three. Now you can multiply four into two. That is the eight. We are just source transformation. You can use. You can use the source transformation. Now this is the two into two. That is the eight volt. Here it is a four. Here it is a three. Here it is a current source. Or here it is a two ohm resistor. What is the current here? Zero. This is nothing but VOC. This is the three. This is the four. The so total resistance, and that is what two ampere. Two ampere. Now you can apply the. Now you can apply what nodal analysis. So nodal means what? Let like the voltage at this point is VOC. Now you are giving the answer B, thirteen point four four. How many students giving the answer B, thirteen point four four is the right answer for this question? Yes. So apply the VOC. That will become VOC minus eight. Divided by what seven is equal to what is the incoming current two ampere because there is no current then VOC will become fourteen plus eight twenty two watt twenty two volt right once you will get the VOC so what is the RTH RTH is very very easy now here this eight volt will act as short circuit two ampere will act as open circuit four plus three seven plus two nine That is the RTH because the current source will act as open circuit, voltage source will act as short circuit. Four plus three plus two that is the nine. RTH is equal to nine ohm. That is in ohm. If it is in ohm, yes, we have the value. Put the value of VTH square by. 
4 rth what is the maximum power vth square 22 square divided by 4 rth 4 into 9 uh, calculator use kariye aap kya re value yes everyone getting the answer same answer Thirteen point four four watt. Yeah, we can calculate it. This value without calculator also. Yes, very simple. Yes. और ये हमारे बीच में अब हैं चंदन झा सर भी हैं. तो please everyone, please welcome the चंदन झा सर. तो आपके सीजे बाबा भी अब आ गए. अब तो एक बार यार जरा like, subscribe, share कर लीजिए. Yes, everyone. And this is very very important session for you. Bark and what HL, right? हिंदी चैनल में भी है और इंग्लिश चैनल में भी कंटिन्यूसली आप लोगों के लिए सब्जेक्ट आते जा रहा है और बहुत सारे सब्जेक्ट होने वाले आने वाले हैं तो प्लीज वॉम वेलकम चंदन झा सर ओके नाउ तो दैट इज व्हाट ट्वेंटी टू स्क्वायर दैट इज द आंसर सिंपल वेरी वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन दिस टाइप ऑफ दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन दिस दिज ऑल आर वॉट एक्सपेक्टेड क्वेश्चन इन वॉट बार्क एग्जाम ओके वी मे एक्सपेक्ट नाउ very simple within 20 seconds what will be the answer for this question yes please yes please what will be the answer for this particular question 20 ohm 20 volt 4 ampere 4 ohm 0.1 vx here some students are worried about what this dependent source sir that is very dangerous so voltage controlled current source and that's why i'm giving this type of questions a uh, uh, very simple don't worry about the dependent source simply apply what nodal analysis right that voltage is vx this is 0 point vx and you have to find the vx simply apply the nodal analysis vx minus 20 vx minus 20 divided by 20 please give me the answer in comments box vx minus 20 divided by 20 plus just i am writing the outgoing current vx divided by 4 now what are the incoming current what is the incoming current 4 ampere plus 0.1 vx 0.1 vx now please vx minus 20 divided by 20 plus vx by 4 minus 0.1 vx is equal to what 4 take 20 as lcm so it will become vx minus 20 plus 5 vx plus 2 minus 2 vx minus 2 vx is equal to 20 into 4 that is what 80 so my dear friends this is the 5 plus 2 6 that will become 4 vx that is equal to 100 so what is the vx is equal to 100 by 4 that is equal to yes now you are giving the answer c so dekhe aap time kitna laga wo check kar lo right this question requires only 20 seconds so in bark exam right number of questions uh, just uh, what about the nature of the questions so very easy or what sometimes it is moderate level what is the answer c we can expect this type of questions simple dependent source simply we have to apply what nodal analysis then calculate the value okay 25 c is the answer now next one what is the voltage v in the circuit 10 seconds within 10 seconds you will be able to give the answer 10 seconds only watch this question and give me the answer this is the 2.5 ampere current source this is the 5 2.5 5 this is the 5 ampere we have three current source in parallel 5 ohm 5 ohm register then what will be the answer yes please try to rule I am fine. You are giving the answer A, 7.5. Okay. Ab batao zara kya hoga? No. Hmm. Or none of this. Kya ho hai bhai? Batai zara. Exactly. As Utkars, you are giving the answer. What C? Okay. Now watch this. Uh, when we are having the different current source, this is the 2.5, that is the minus 2.5 because it is in the downward direction. So this 2.5 is cancelled by this 2.5. Now we are having the only 5 ampere current source and two registers 5 and 5 ohm. Right? And that is the value. That is the value 5 ampere. 
right now 5 ampere 5 5 ohm 5 ohm 5 ohm 5 ohm so this current is half distributed that is what is the current here 2.5 2.5 now actually the value of v is what 2.5 into 5 but it is in opposite direction this is the given as v so what will be the answer actually the answer is what with negative sign answer is with the negative sign so what is the negative sign v 2.5 into 5 minus 12.5 okay minus 12.5 but don't worry right this is the this is the direction right only magnitude is asked it may possible that magnitude is asked or may change the polarity the best answer concept which one is the best answer 12.5 finished 12.5 objective sometimes we have to choose what best answer which one is the best one it may ask what what is the magnitude and so on so this is the 12.5 now next one so, ye tha question aap dhyan rakhiyega this is cancer this is cancer and very very simple question now one question from two port network one question simple question from two port network but with dependent source right now the network of the figure contains a current controlled current source the network of the figure contains a current controlled current source for this network the y parameter the why not right venu kumar if they have the same dependency then we can cancel if they have the same dependency for example uh, one depend upon the i1 i am writing 5 i1 another one is what 2 i1 then we can cancel then we can cancel right now please give me the answer network of the figure contains a current control current source this is a current control current source this is the 3 i1 and this is a two port network so always remember this is the i1 if it is nothing is given no problem this is the i1 this is the v1 and this is v2 and that is i2 standard circuit then you have to calculate y12 and y21 y12 y21 hmm kya ho raha hai bhai okay theek hai na agar wo same dependency hai if we are having the 5 i1 2 i1 then we can add or subtract if they have the different dependency right but again we can add because we are parallel but suppose 5 i1 and uh, another current so depends upon v2 5 i1 plus 3 v2 we we can add these two but now the resultant will have two dependency one i1 on one on what v2 right are aapka question kya hai sai tharun okay to ये अभी आप सेशन के बाद बात करते साई नाउ प्लीज नाउ दिस इज दी वन दिस इज दी वन वॉच दिस ऑलवेज रिमेंबर इन टू पोर्ट नेटवर्क दिस इज दी वन इफ वाई पैरामीटर इज आज दिस इज दी टू दिस इज दई टू दिस वोल्टेज इज ऑल्सो वॉट वी टू एंड वॉट इज द वाई पैरामीटर वाई वन इज इक्वल टू वाई वन वन वी वन प्लस वाई वन टू वी टू and i2 is equal to what y21 v1 plus y22 v2 that is the answer y12 and so on which one is the correct one please everyone give me uh, utkarsh kumar you are giving the answer a okay any any other student please give me the answer for this question what will be the answer the network of the figure contains a current control current source for this network the y parameter will be y12 is equal to y21 राइट right, ये हमको कैलकुलेट करना नॉट इक्वल बिकॉज वी हैव द डिपेंडेंट सोर्स दैट इज द इक्वेशन वेरी सिंपल मेथड राइट यू कैन अप्लाई व्हाट नोडल एनालिसिस एट दिस पॉइंट व्हेन आई एम अप्लाइंग द नोडल एनालिसिस यू विल गेट डायरेक्ट आंसर तो व्हाट इज द इनकमिंग करेंट आई वन वॉट इज आउट गोइंग वी वन बाई माइनस जीरो बाई वन तो वी वन बाई वन प्लस वी वन माइनस वी टू बाई वॉट वी वन माइनस वी टू बाई टू आई वन विल बिकम 3 by 2 v1. This is the 1 plus 1 by 2 minus what? 0.5 v2. Now you can check what is the y12. 
y compare this to equation y12 is equal to minus 0 0.5 Siemens minus 0 0.5 Siemens so which one is minus 0 0.5 y12 to dekhi yahan par minus 0 0.5 that a option is correct b option is correct c is wrong d is wrong right now you can take calculated risk if we have limited time then in 10 minute 10 seconds you can mark a or b 50% probability 50% chance answer may be correct now second y21 simply write the uh, equation so what is the incoming i2 is equal to 3 i1 outgoing current 3 i1 v2 by 2 this is the v2 by 2 plus v2 minus v1 by 2 v2 minus v1 by 2 what is the i1 now you have to put this value so i2 is equal to 3 into 3 9 by 2 times of v1 please watch this 3 into 3 9 by 2 times of v1 minus when i am multiplying it will become this is the 0 0.5 or this is 1 by 2 so this will become 3 by 2 v2 plus v2 by 2 plus v2 by 2 is it what v2 and that is what minus v1 by 2 now what is required here what is required here y21 only so y21 means coefficient of v1 coefficient of v1 simply calculate the coefficient of v1 9 by 2 plus what minus 1 by 2 9 minus 1 that is 8 by 2 that is the 4 v1 no need to calculate this value what is the coefficient of v2 you can calculate minus 3 by 2 by minus 1 uh, that is the value minus 1 by 2 right but what is the answer 4 4 is the correct one a is the correct answer a is the correct answer for this question okay right to ye bhi hai kya aap pooch rahe question kya angle Tomorrow we will discuss questions from what study state analysis. Study state analysis. Okay. Now, acha, aap log apne comments mein lage mein koi baat nahi. Uh, next question hum log discuss karte hain. Bhai zara ek baar aap log bhi. Kal bhi aapko aana hai. If you want to get the uh, some questions, some important questions from transient, first order and second order transient, then tomorrow at 11 p.m. Same timing, Bark and H.A.N. The next one. Right. What are the open circuit reverse voltage gain and the short circuit forward current gain respectively? Right. Ye dekho. Ye, that is the this type of question in engineering services exam. Right. Again the question from two port network but this time what are the name? What are the open circuit reverse voltage gain? We are using the word reverse voltage gain in case of what hybrid parameter. And forward current gain, we are using this word forward current gain in what again hybrid parameters. Yes, in case of analog, in case of network, we are using this word forward current gain, reverse voltage gain. It is related to what hybrid parameters. This is simple T network, simple T network and what is the hybrid parameter? V1 is equal to H11I1 plus H12V2. This time, this time that is the change in language, simple change in language, right? And uh, they can simply ask what is the H11 or H12, but this time reverse voltage gain, forward current gain. Then this is the second equation is I2. I2 is equal to H21I1 plus H22V2. So reverse voltage gain, this is called reverse voltage gain. H12 is equal to V1 by V2 with I1 is equal to 0. I1 0 means what? Open circuit. This is called open circuit. So open circuit reverse voltage again. First means you have to simply calculate what H12. Second forward current gain. This H21 is called forward current gain. H21. I2 by I1 with V2 is equal to 0. H2. So this is called forward current gain. H12 is what? Reverse voltage gain. H21 is what? Forward it means directly they, they may ask find the value of h12 and h21 change in the language simple and right now here this is a very very easy question right 
uh, please watch this 1 by 3 minus 1 by 3 2 by 3 and minus 2 by 3 we have different answer one is positive one is negative calculate any any one parameter and you will get the right answer for this particular question okay now you can calculate this value h12 and so on we can calculate what is the condition for h12 i1 is equal to 0 let this i1 is equal to what 0 this is the v1 this is the v2 so what is the voltage at this point this is the v1 according to voltage divide rule what is the v1 by v2 6 divided by 3 plus 6 that is what 2 by 3 this is the h12 we are simply using the voltage division rule here and we are applying the condition that is the i1 should be equal to 0. Second is what h21 when we want to calculate the h21 h21 what is the condition for h21 v2 is equal to 0 simply make the short circuit v2 is equal to what 0 that current is what i2 now what is this value 3 6 12 3 6 and 12 this is the v1 this current is i1 simply we want the i2 by i1 current division rule so what is the current here according this is the minus sign so i2 by i1 because the direction so what is the direction here minus i2 that's why we are getting the minus sign current division rule we want current here this will become 6 divided by what 3 plus 6 6 divided by 3 plus 6 that is nothing but minus 2 by 3 minus 2 by 3 so yes 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 that answer is correct 2 by 3 and minus 2 by 3 so what is the what is different in this question what is the difference uh, what is the difference simply they are not asking the h12 and h21 they are giving the name they are not talking about the hybrid parameter they are giving the name reverse voltage gain and short circuit forward current gain so we are using this word in okay right please take a conceptual definitely on which topic you want on which topic you want now similar type of question in what from uh, please read this what are the open circuit transfer admittance this is the word open circuit transfer admittance right when we are talking about the admittance admittance means what y parameter but y parameter all the y parameters are what short circuit parameters steady state analysis okay i am trying to take one session on that but tomorrow we will discuss number of questions on steady state analysis right to so everyone the open circuit transfer admittance when admittance we are simply thinking that it is a y parameter but it is a short circuit parameter it is not an open circuit parameter remember that second thing negative short circuit current gain negative short circuit current ratio respectively this type of word we are using what in transmission line parameter abcd parameter so what is the abcd parameter everyone this is the v1 this is the i1 this is the V2, that is the I2. Right. Now, what is the ABCD parameter? V1 is equal to AV2 minus BI2. Right. And I1 is equal to CV2 minus DI2. Right. CV2 minus DI2. So, admittance means what? Current divided by voltage. So, current divided by voltage, this is the C i1 by v2 with i2 is equal to 0 when i am making the current 0 it will become output is open circuit or i1 is the input current v2 is the output voltage and that's why it is called transfer admittance because that is not the relation on the same port i1 by v2 that is called transfer admittance this is the word transfer admittance right so you have to calculate the c and second thing you have to calculate uh, second one is short circuit current ratio in which case short circuit current ratio means i1 by i2 this we have to calculate the d what is the d is equal to minus i1 by i2 with v2 v2 means what short circuit and negative sign and that's why it is given negative short circuit current ratio this is the negative short circuit current ratio when the output is short circuited that is the value Yes. 
इन विच केस चिन्ह में जेड टू वन इज इक्वल टू माइनस जेड वन टू इन विच केस जस्ट प्लीज गिव मीन आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन सिंपली यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट द सी आई वन बाई वी टू विद आई टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो देखिए यहां पर साढ़े जीरो दिस इज द आई वन दिस इज द वी वन ओके एंड यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट द सी आई वन बाई वी टू यू कैन यूज द करेंट डिविजन रूल दैट लेट दैट करेंट इज लेट वी आर हैविंग द आई वन डेस तो वॉट इज द आई वन डेस आई वन डिवाइडेड बाई ट्वेंटी वन प्लस फोर्टी टू into what 21 it will become i1 into 21 divided by what 63 that is i1 by 3 i1 by 3 so i1 dash is what i1 by 3 and it is multiplied by 10.5 so v2 will become i1 by 3 into what 10.5 now we have to calculate i1 by v2 so this by this by uh, this you can calculate this will become I one by V two is equal to three divided by ten point five. Okay, yes. What is the answer you are getting, everyone? Give me the answer. Oh, take my calculation. Ah. Uh, Simply, I am using that is the I want to calculate the relation between what V two and I one. Simply, I am using what current division. Oh, sorry, this is the mistake. This is the mistake. Simple, very slight mistake. I am using the current division rule, right? So please, twenty one plus ten point five. So you can find the value I one dash. I one dash is equal to this because these two register are in series. We have to use forty two divided by what twenty one plus what ten point five. Plus what if we want? This is the result. Forty-two into I one. Now you can calculate. Now you can calculate. What is the V two here? V two is nothing but ten point five into what I one does. Ten point five into I one does. Put the value I one does, and you will get the relation between what that V two and I one. Easy. That is the one way. that is the one way to solve this question okay yet simple you can use the current division rule or or you can apply because we want the relation between i1 and v2 and that's why i am using this method i am simply using the current division rule so use this formula 42 divided by 21 plus 10.5 plus 42 i1 and now 10.5 into i1 dash that is the value of v2 and you from that you can get the value of this so what is the new in this question What is the new in this question? Just simply, we are not asking find the value of the C or find the value of what D. We are not asking find the value of or if the simple question that simply find the value of C or find the value of D, then it, this question will become very very easy for you, right? So from that you will get the one by six even. And the second one, that is the D minus I one by what I two. Then simply. In second question, this is the I two. This is the I one. Always remember the condition. What is the condition here? V two should be equal to zero. This will act as short circuit. This will act as short circuit. So what will be the current here? Zero current. One minute. Short circuit. V two is equal to zero. What is the current here? Zero. That is the I two. And this is the I one, right? Now you can find the value. This is the I one plus, right? Write down the equation directly. You can write down the equation, and you will get the relation between I one and I two. That is the one KVL zero is equal to twenty one times of I two plus forty three times of I one plus I two. From this, you will get the Relation between I one and I two. So what is the answer here, my dear friends? T is the answer. No, C is not the answer. T. Please check the answer. Please check the answer. You have to calculate minus I one by I two. Minus I one by I two. So this will become zero. Forty two plus sixty three. I two. 
plus what 42 i1 42 i1 now with minus sign and you have to find minus i1 by i2 this is the i1 minus i1 by i2 is equal to 63 divided by 42 that is nothing but 3 by 2 D. that is a 3 by 2 right so that is the answer okay then that is all from my side right so please remember this this type of questions you may expect in what or some theoretical question you may also expect like this type the theorem which states that in any linear theorem which states that for that question the answer is what b right so what is the answer the theorem which states that in any linear non-linear passive active time variant and time invariant network the summation of the instantaneous power is zero will be called as what is the answer a very very simple question this is what telegram's theorem right so that telegram's theorem is applicable for what linear non-linear passive active time variant time invariant or what any type of network directly we can apply energy can neither be created nor be destroyed that is what telegram's theorem right venu kumar sir here how can we know that the it's only a b c d parameter my dear friends what is the relation go for the words it is written as open circuit third word is written as transfer and then what admittance right so when we are talking about the admittance parameter that is a short circuit parameters when we are talking about the z parameters it is what only open circuit parameters but two two things is required open circuit as well as what short circuit so normally it is what hybrid parameter try to understand Matlab means open circuit as well as short circuit is, is in the case of what hybrid parameter and ABCD parameter. Third thing negative word is used here negative word is used only with what ABCD parameter because here it is a negative. It is a, a standard nomenclature of what ABCD parameter standard nomenclature and that's why we have idea. I, I think that now it is clear so that is the word right because when we want to calculate the v again it is a negative v1 by i2 with v2 0 minus v1 by i2 now telegram's theorem now this is the assignment for you tomorrow i will give the answer for this question please try to solve this question within 10 to 20 seconds you will be able to solve this question okay yes uh, right uh, uh, what about the session yes ritik यार कोई गॉड ही बस ठीक है तो आपको हम लोग कांसेप्ट देते हैं और कंटीन्यूअसली वी आर प्रैक्टिसिंग द क्वेश्चन एंड दैट्स व्हाई वी आर एबल टू सॉल्व दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चंस राइट लास्ट 20 इयर्स वी आर इन दिस सेम फील्ड वी आर वी आर डीलिंग विद ऑल दिस सब्जेक्ट लाइक नेटवर्क लाइक डिजिटल लाइक व्हाट एनालॉग एंड सो ऑन एंड दैट्स व्हाई वी वी हैव ऑलरेडी सॉल्व्ड ऑल दिस क्वेश्चंस राइट तो कोई बहुत बड़ा जादू नहीं है आप भी करोगे तो आपको भी आ जाएगा राइट right? आपको भी लगेगा तो आपको भी प्रैक्टिस हो जाएगी प्रैक्टिस कीजिए बस अनदर क्वेश्चन दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वन अनदर असाइनमेंट फॉर यू तो टू असाइनमेंट्स क्वेश्चन टुमारो आई विल गिव द आंसर 11 पीएम शार्प ओके नेटवर्क यू आर ऑन बाइजूस एग्जाम प्रेप प्लीज लाइक द सेशन शेयर द लिंक ऑफ दिस सेशन एंड सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल राइट नंबर ऑफ सेशंस वेटिंग फॉर यू Thank you, thank you very much and good night. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, please join my telegram channel then where I will upload the PDF of this session. Simply electronics by Sanjay Rati. Simply join my uh, telegram channel. Electronics by Sanjay Rati. वहां आपको लिंक मिल जाएगा आप देखेंगे तो आपको डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स पे आपको लिंक होगा अदरवाइज इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स बाय संजय राठी आई विल अपलोड द पीडीएफ देयर ओके देन थैंक यू एंड गुड नाइट